One day it's gonna happen and I'm gonna build the world's perfect gaming streaming setup. Would you guys be down to let me practice on you? Like, can I build your setups? Can we do that? We'll make it a series on this channel. Like I'll provide the sponsors and the equipment. You guys provide the desk. <laughs> Let's talk about it. This is the third time I've completely rebuilt my setup. And every time I do this, I try to find a couple new ideas. Solve a couple problems that my last build had. And I love it, I love it. When I find something new that I've never seen anyone else do before. I think I found a couple of those. And you guys might hate some of them. I love them. I think they're amazing. But anyway, I'm finally building my dream gaming streaming setup. And in celebration, we're giving away a PC, a beast of a PC. It's an origin PC with a 4090 in it. More on the giveaway later in the video. Let's start building this thing. So this video is gonna be part one of a little mini series of redoing this setup here. And this one will be all about like the PC, the monitors, the desk, the gadgets, the stream decks, all, all the cameras, all the things. Let's start by unboxing the gigantic Origin PC. plug this thing in and power it on. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna tell you about today's sponsor, Sizzle.gg. Also, there's a $25 cash giveaway at the end of this, so hang around for that. Sizzle.gg is a website that automatically generates highlights and clips of your YouTube streams, Twitch streams, and local gameplay no editing software or skills needed. It just watches your content, picks out the best part of your gameplay, and turns them into clips and compilations for free. It even works with just chatting now using their universal AI technology. On sizzle.gg, you just link your streaming account, auto-generate your highlights, then you can make small edits if you want, create custom compilations, and even convert any video into vertical mode for TikTok and YouTube. The basic plan is free, and then for just 99 cents for the first month, you can get a handful of cool extra perks, like generating highlights out of any video using their universal AI. And as for the $25, sizzle.gg is going to PayPal two of you that sign up for a free account on their website. It's free money, so go sign up with the link down in the description below and start getting some free and easy content for your social media platforms and maybe $25 for battle passes or food or anything you want really. Back to the video. I don't know what to name this one yet. I've started naming a lot of my PCs, the ones I'm really proud of. Like we have Orthrus, that was the, the two-in-one PC named after the two-headed Greek mythology dog. And then the last one was Hydra because you could plug nine cameras into it, kind of like the nine-headed Hydra. But what is this guy? I don't know. If you have any ideas, maybe we keep the Greek mythology theme going with it. And if you have any thoughts, leave them in the comments. But you should probably know what's in this because the one we're giving away is gonna have identical specs, which is wild because that's a 4090. And that thing is a monstrosity. You don't realize how big 4090s are until like you handle one. That is insane. And I don't know if you noticed that I swapped out the capture card during the ad read. I was planning on fitting my old Cam Link Pro for my last PC in the extra slot. Elgato was kind enough to include their 4K Pro in this. And I was like, oh cool, I'll also put my Cam Link Pro in there. But if you look in there, you can see there is like no clearance underneath this thing. This thing is such a chonk. It would basically cover up the entire intake fan to the GPU and just choke that thing. So I ended up swapping this out. I'll put this in a different PC and we'll just keep the uh, the Cam Link Pro hanging down right there. This thing is built inside Corsair's brand new 6500X. I love this new trend of like seamless glass corners so you just get this huge view of what's inside. Definitely my favorite latest PC case trend, but then also you can see it's custom designed as a Streambeats PC. I have a lot of pride in this thing. It's actually the first PC with Orthrus actually on the PC. I feel like I can't name, what do I name it now? Maybe we name it Hades because it's got Orthrus on there. I don't know, I still want your suggestions. And then the processor that's sitting underneath this liquid cool AIO with a LCD, LED, OLED, I don't know, a screen on it is the Intel i9-14900K. This is, um, this is about as beefy of a PC as you can buy today or as beefy of a PC as you can win for free when you enter the giveaway. 
<laughs> oh, wait, but I also wanted to tell you that there is 96 gigs of RAM in this thing. It's DDR5-6600 speed. What's the... Oh, geez. Megahertz. Megahertz. 6,600 megahertz of Corsair Dominator RAM. This thing is just, a, it's a monstrosity. Let's let's move it in the room. I'm going to have to get used to how much smaller this PC is than my last one. It's like, I think it's like a third of the volume, but way more powerful than my last PC. My last one was just full of colorful water. That was the majority of the PC. This is definitely something new. I needed to choose a gaming monitor to go with this PC and it did something I thought I'd never do. And I decided to build a single monitor streaming setup. I've always had multiple monitors. Streamers always have multiple monitors. I think I've made videos about how two monitors is like the minimum for streamers because you need one for your game and one for all your streaming stuff. OBS, chat, mixing software, whatever. But I'm here to tell you the good news that you're not gonna wanna hear. Single monitor setups, best setups. So Harris, which monitor did you choose? Also, what's that dinky little thing? It looks like a second monitor to me, you liar. First of all, maybe chill out just a little bit. Second of all, let me share with you the glory that is this monitor setup. When Origin sent me this PC, they asked me which monitor I wanted with it. Very generous of them. What is that? I come bearing options. I told them I wanted to try the 1440p 240 FPS, the, the OLED monitor that they've got. I've never tried 240 FPS. I've never tried OLED. I wanted to try it. And the good guys at Corsair thought they'd have a little bit of fun. They sent that monitor and they sent their 32 inch 4K 144 Hertz display. This I did not ask for. This was a surprise. I've always thought that 27 inches was a perfect size gaming monitor. I was wrong. Hey, Dustin, take a look at this. 32. It actually does fit pretty good. And it actually works better than I thought it would. Mm -hmm. I love this monitor. I tried the 27 inch OLED after, and don't get me wrong, OLED, the colors are amazing. The 240 Hertz is the most buttery smooth gameplay I've ever seen. It felt small, like I couldn't go back. Also putting that 27 inches between my gigantic Mackie eight inch monitors, it, it looked a little ridiculous. So I'm officially starting the 32 inch single monitor supremacy. Here we are, join us, we are the best. Man, I'm getting 4K. I, I haven't dipped below 144. And by the way, if you wanna join the Supremacy, I will have links to everything mentioned in this video down below. Oh, and speaking of those links, let me tell you about the giveaway. If you want this PC, like this exact PC, it's got a 4090. Oh, and I just remembered I already told you what was in this PC. Anyway, this exact PC is gonna be done in a giveaway. Link to enter that giveaway is down below. Now, you don't have to buy anything to enter. You can enter multiple times. Please sign up because if one of my employees wins it, it's gonna look really, really weird for me. But now onto what's this little dinky thing. This is something that I'm going to beg Elgato to make a real thing. I want them to sell this. They don't sell this, they need to sell this. This is a screen from a dismantled Elgato prompter. Look, it used to go right in there. This is all that's left. It was sacrificed for the greater good. It seems like a weird decision to make. Let me tell you why this needs to be a real thing. First of all, it runs off a single USB cable. So both power and signal go over USB. So I just plug it right into the back of the monitor that's right next to it. And it has a quarter 20 mounting hole right on the back. So you can easily mount it anywhere. I clamped it to the current multi-mount that my camera was on. Easiest and cleanest setup I've ever had. So now I put an OBS preview window at the top so I can see what my stream looks like. And I put chat right underneath it. The only problem is because it's supposed to be a teleprompter and it's supposed to go through a mirror, it's hard coded to be mirrored, which makes like setting it up a little bit brain twisting, but like Elgato, please make this and sell it and, and unmirror it. Could you imagine a tiny little mountable single cable monitor where you can set window layout presets and then switch those presets using a stream deck? I need it. You need it, and I will take a royalty check when Elgato makes it. So there's an Easter egg in Elgato's latest software update to their prompter. The update gives you a crosshair, so you can see exactly where your lens is, and I begged them to do that. So, what they did, in the newest update, if you hold Shift, Control, Command, and then you click on pointer, Cross Harris pops up, and your crosshair, if you can see it in there, becomes the Senpai logo. Hey, you see it better right here. So I thought that was pretty neat. My name is officially in Elgato software. That's all. Having a single monitor means I can now sit centered between my two speakers so I can actually game without headphones on, which I feel is something that the PC gaming community is severely missing out on. Like play on speakers, it is a, it is a joyful experience. So with this new gaming experience with like the PC 
and the monitor and the speakers. It is, it is a whole new world of gaming and it is wild. Let's add some streaming gear to it. I added one more Stream Deck Plus for my last setup, which solves the last problem of the single monitor setup. This mostly acts as a dedicated Discord Stream Deck while I'm gaming, so I can join dedicated voice chats, I can see who else is joining and leaving the room, and then I can also turn up and down individual volumes of those people. The other Stream Deck Plus controls my individual audio channels, as well as lets me switch mics between my NTG4 and my Beacon mic, switch between my headphones and monitors and a handful of other things. And then the Stream Deck XL has 32 buttons to do what it does best, which is switch between two scenes. I'm doing my part too. I'm still using the SteelSeries Arctis Pro Wireless because nothing has come close to beating that. And my chatting camera is my A7S III with the super wide 14 millimeter lens on it. My gameplay camera is the Canon EOS RP with a 50 mil on it this time. And then I rotate it on its side so you get that portrait look for gameplay. And then my light is the Amaran P60C. Both cameras and the lights are plugged into those little, those Hue smart outlets so I can turn them all on and off from the stream deck, just making life a little bit simpler. But next thing we got to do here is give this this area a little bit more life. I don't even have lights in it. Look at look at the ceiling. There are no lights on this half of the room. It, it's like a dungeon. It also makes it really hard to shoot videos over there. I have to bring in like a ton of lights. So that's going to be the next video, part two of this series. So make sure you're subscribed to that. And while you're down there, pick up a genius beanie for yourself and maybe an idiot beanie for your friend. And don't tell them what it means. They'll never find out because they're an idiot. Look, I'm just calling all my viewers friends idiots. <laughs> That's how you sell beanies, everybody knows that. Big brain plays. Anyway, I love you guys, I'll see you for part two, and as always, happy streaming.